Hey there, Scott Wiseman from Wiseman Trek. Thought I'd check in with you folks and talk to you about a question that I frequently get from folks who are interested in the Pacific Crest Trail and why I might uh, be willing to risk body and <laughs> or life and limb on the Pacific Crest Trail. Um, sometimes folks are aware that there are other long distance trails in the US and they're kind of interested in why I chose the Pacific Crest Trail. So I thought I would address that tonight. Why did I choose the Pacific Crest Trail as opposed to the other long distance scenic trails in the US? Okay, so as most of you may, or I guess may not know, there are essentially three long distance scenic trails in the US. There are other long distance trails, but there are the three primary trails. One is the Pacific Crest Trail, which is along the West Coast, which is the trail that I'm going to do in just a few weeks. Um, the other is the Continental Divide Trail, or the CDT Trail, um, that runs uh, a little bit further east of the Pacific Crest Trail, uh, crossing many states uh, like New Mexico, Colorado, um, I think Idaho, but it's, uh, it's a more westerly route from Mexico to uh, Canada. And the third long distance trail is the Appalachian Trail, which is the easternmost of the long scenic trails in the U.S. And it goes from Georgia to Maine. Um, and it is a little over 2,000 miles, where the Pacific Crest Trail is 2,650. And the Continental Divide Trail is longer yet. Um, and I think... Uh, a little over 3,000 miles. So the question comes up, why did I choose the Pacific Crest Trail? Well, it wasn't my first choice, and I might have mentioned that earlier on, a, on, a, on another video. But my first choice, the one I thought about most, and the earliest, is hiking the Appalachian Trail from Georgia to Maine. Um, and uh, I had talked to some friends about doing it, and I was really set on doing that. It's where I first watched Dixie on her uh, Appalachian Trail hike. It's kind of what drug me into the idea of doing a long distance hike. Um, so I was quite fascinated by the Appalachian Trail, and that's where my head was and my heart was for quite some time. So I really wanted to do the Appalachian Trail. but. The more I did research about the long distance scenic trails in the US, uh, I sort of backed away from that Appalachian Trail idea and settled on the Pacific Crest Trail. But let me, uh, let me explain why. Um, the Appalachian Trail is commonly referred to as the Green Tunnel. And I don't know if that's just hikers, I assume so, but it's called the Green Tunnel, and that's primarily because with, with a few notable exceptions in terms of uh, epic scenic views, um, a, a good deal of the Appalachian Trail is walking through sort of dense forest-like um, terrain, uh, up and down uh, some pretty steep and rocky terrain, um, but generally speaking, uh, for miles and miles and miles of the Appalachian Trail, you can kind of see the trees on your left and right, but much beyond those trees is kind of elusive because it's such a green tunnel from Georgia to Maine. Now, there are exceptions to that, I am certain, and I have seen some beautiful vista shots from the Appalachian Trail. But for me, I was really interested in seeing the beauty um, that this country has to offer. And the more I looked at the um, Pacific Crest Trail, the more I knew that that's really the trail I wanted to do. Um, uh, the Appalachian Trail is, as I mentioned, is also um, can be very tough terrain. Uh, a lot of elevation gain, elevation loss, uh, a lot of rocky and rugged terrain where um, some hand, hand over hand climbing skills are necessary, rock scrambling and things of that nature. Um, it can be a, quite a difficult trail. Um, I think I would normally be up for that challenge, 
Um, but I thought for my first trail, for my first long distance trail, I should really focus on something that presents a little bit different terrain. And the Pacific Crest Trail is just that. Um, the Pacific Crest Trail is generally graded for livestock transportation. So um, you should theoretically be able to ride a horse from the Mexican border all the way to Canada. Um, and I know that there are people who have done that and done it successfully. Um, so the trail itself is graded at such a way um, that it's not quite as steep. There's not quite the elevation gain and loss as there is on the um, Appalachian Trail. Uh, and while there is elevation gain and loss, the actual steepness or the grade of that trail is um, less, um, quite honestly, so that livestock can manage that. Um, so when you get to a really steep mountain or hill where on the Appalachian Trail you might kind of go straight up that hill, on the Pacific Crest Trail there might be a number of switchbacks going up that hill to make the grade less. So it's this or it's up and down switchbacks. This creates more mileage, but the terrain and the grade itself is more manageable from a walking perspective. So um, I thought that was important. Also, <clears throat> there is no beating from my estimation, the, uh, the beautiful scenery and the mountains. So the scenery on the Pacific Crest Trail is just wide open in most spots, which is not to say you don't walk through some forest and some treed areas where it may feel like you're in a green tunnel, but generally speaking, the vistas are frequent and they're just beautiful with alpine lakes and things of that nature. So it just seems to me like if you're looking to watch and see the beauty that this country has to offer, especially in the mountains, the Pacific Crest Trail would probably beat the Appalachian Trail for that. So it's a combination of the scenery, the grade, um, and quite honestly, the mileage. It's said that you can actually do the Pacific Crest Trail a little bit faster than you might do the Appalachian Trail, even though the Appalachian Trail is a bit shorter because the grade is a bit easier on the Pacific Crest Trail. Um, so I think it's a combination of factors that got me to choose the Pacific Crest Trail over the Appalachian Trail. Uh, not to mention the fact that while I've done a little bit of travel on the East Coast, I haven't really been out to the West Coast um, uh, except when I was uh, young um, as a kid. Uh, I did a little travel with my parents on the West Coast. Um, and then I've been out there once um, for overnight it, uh, by LAX. I was out there another night when I drove my sister's car out there. Um, and I, was, uh, I spent a couple of days out there just last year with my wife when she went out to a conference. And we actually did some backpacking footage available uh, soon. Yeah. But those are the only real times that I've been there. The Pacific Crest Trail runs California, Oregon, and Washington. I was actually born in the state of Washington in Seattle. So um, it's been a long time since I've been there. Uh, I actually, I, I did visit Seattle maybe five years ago, uh, but it was part of a trip that I did to Alaska. Um, I we'll talk about that sometime in the future too. But so I picked the Pacific Crest Trail for uh, generally just the the grade and the scenery. Um, the mileage is in between the Appalachian Trail and the Continental Divide Trail, which I haven't talked about too much. Um, so all in all, it just seemed a much better fit for me. Um, and since I've made that switch mentally from the, from the Appalachian Trail to the Pacific Crest Trail, I'm all in 100% to the Pacific Crest Trail. There's no doubt. I'm not second guessing my choice of doing the Pacific Crest Trail as my first long distance trail. I'm 100% I'm in. The third trail, which I haven't talked too much about, is the Continental Divide Trail. And the Continental Divide Trail really just scares the, it just scares me. Um, it is, I know plenty of people have hiked it, plenty of people have loved it, um, but it's a bit more rugged, um, uh, a little bit more remote um, than the other two trails. Um, 
there's a much higher probability of running into the, the bad bear, which is the grizzly bear, um, as opposed to the black or brown bear um, that you might run into elsewhere. Uh, I don't relish the idea of running into grizzly bears who um, are a whole new kind of predator that I'm just not sure I'm up for. Um, so I, I ruled out the Continental Divide Trail really pretty quickly because it's not quite as well marked. The, the travel between towns or resupply points is a little bit further away. Water isn't quite as abundant as it might be elsewhere. So while I think it would be a gorgeous hike and I would love to do it someday and I might actually section hike some of those in the future, some part of the Continental Divide Trail, this is where my heart is at, the Pacific Crest Trail. And that's why I am so anxious to get started. I am less than six weeks away from my start date. Uh, I am just tweaking my, uh, my gear, um, getting my pack dialed in. I'm still taking some training hikes. I'm also working out at the gym. Um, basically just working out my back, working out my legs, trying to build some wind. Um, so I'm doing a little bit of workout. I'm carrying my loaded pack for several miles a few times a week. Um, I am still going to have to take it really slow at the beginning of this hike. I know it, um, and now you know it. I'm probably going to go pretty slow. So even if I start out hiking with people on that day that I take off, um, my guess is most people will probably be hiking a little bit faster than me, but that's okay because I don't want to get injured. I really want to just take it easy and, and work up to a, a point where I get my trail legs and I can really hike in and put some miles. Up until that point, I'm just going to take it easy. And the Continental Divide, or I'm sorry, the Pacific Crest Trail really allows me that opportunity. So overall, that's why I decided to do, do the Pacific Crest Trail. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. I will comment or, or answer your questions just as quickly as I can. And if I get a number of similar questions, I might just film a video and talk about that specifically. So um, I look forward to talking with you again in the very near future. I look forward to my hike in just a few weeks. Um, so bye for now.